is the bird temple and we're going to the monkey temple though no? Should not be far from here. So we arrived at the ta monkey temple but uh, seems like it's under construction. In this video, my expert Daddy will introduce you to some of the best temples that can be found in and around Kathmandu. So he got his banana. Hello, Namaste. So, we made it to the top. A nice view of Kathmandu. But, we want the entrance here. So, top of the monkey temple. Unfortunately, mostly it's under construction. This is the Swayambhunath Istupa which is a very old Buddhist complex with several temples and shrines. It is also known as the Monkey Temple because of the vast amount of macaque monkeys that reside on the premises. Having been built over 2500 years ago, this temple is one of the world's oldest Buddhist temples. As you can see from the construction sites, the temple complex suffered heavy damage caused by the 7.8 magnitude earthquake from 2015. So what Mickey thinks about the monkey temple? It's nice here. It's nice here. Why do you like it? I see a different kind of temple. Yeah. Many details. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Wow, amazing here. All the colors and when the wind strikes, everything is flattering. How do you call it? I feel it's kind of hypnotic to watch this thing. Maybe being in France. It's kind of like the same feeling when you watch the waves. Not so today we hit the monkey temple. Monkeys are uh, quite friendly. Uh, they are very different in Thailand or other countries. Yeah? Here they won't do anything. Yeah? Really nice. Won't come close. I think uh, they won't bite even. But in like um, Thailand or Vietnam, they are much more aggressive. Yeah, it's a swimming pool for monkey. Monkeys can be found at most temples in Nepal and this one is no exception. That's probably because there's more space for them to roam around. Wow, he got so close. He's drinking the sturdy water. I'm wondering if the monkeys get along with the dogs. My expert diary was so fascinated by this temple that he spent the entire day with his friend Mickey at the temple, feeling the energy, enjoying the vibes and observing the monkeys. So what is the name of this place? Saimbo. Saimbo? Yeah, Saimbo. Saimbo. Okay. And is it a Hindu place or no? It's not Hindu. This is like a Buddhist, Buddhist place, right? Yeah, Buddhist because of the flags. Like Tibetan Buddhist. We also want to eat something. We have some cookies. Because we're very hungry. Hop. Yeah. Very nice dogs. This poor dog. Looking at the dogs. Do you want this? He's looking at the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the monkeys got so used by tourists feeding them cookies uh, that they it. have developed a very unhealthy diet. Oh, this vibration. Do you want the cookies? You can have them. Yeah. Open, open. Huh? Open, open, open. Open. Oh. Wow. 
Yes, yes. So you have then open and the blocks are cool. And we have this small also. Just have a come to see. How, how do you make it? Because vibration. Just yes. when you play, you can see. Mm -hmm. This is a Buddha eye. Yes. Eye of Buddha. Yes, yes. Om Mane Padme Hum. Oh, Mantra. Okay. Tenor ball. Mm -hmm. Lord Buddha. Mandala. And same one, when you play it. Yes. I see the vibration. Yeah. So that's why our brain open blood circulation. Because of the proper blood circulation, yes. our pressure balance. Oh. And regular doing cigarette out, diabetes out. Also, it's, it's healing as well. Mm -hmm. So you got this products uh, from the market or why? From the market, Nepal yes. and made all. I see. We sell and we okay. produce our like a culture mm -hmm. temple like this. I this is from the temple, the Buddha. Yes. yes. And then the flying bot with the fish because in Asia we say the fish is good luck. Okay. You it. Be you brave. Yeah, wow. You are so brave. I didn't do it. Yeah. yeah, it's a wonderful sight here. Yeah. We spent the whole day here at this temple, really. It's sunset now. But it's really cool. Yeah, no more cookies, huh? So, another temple. When my expert diary and Mickey walked around Kathmandu and were on their way to the next temple, they suddenly noticed oh. a large group of monks. However, these were not Nepalese monks. These were Thai monks. Thai monks usually wear orange robes while Nepalese monks would wear red. That's because they belong to different schools of Buddhism. Thai monks mostly belong to the school of Theravada, while Nepalese monks are from the school of Vajrayana. These are all Thai monks. So how long you stay in Nepal? How, how long? Four days. Four days. Oh, no, no, no. Four months. Four months. No, no, no. Still four months. What? Four months. March. March. Ah, oh, just March. Since Mickey is from Thailand, she could communicate with the monks. On the other hand, my expert diary still didn't get what she said. Another backyard temple. Hi. The master. Hmm. Interesting. Hindu gods. A Buddha, I don't know what it is. Kathmandu is especially interesting because it's so densely packed with temples. One can literally just walk around and find amazing temples which aren't even indicated on Google Maps. Wait, what is this? Amma. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. You're Hindu or you're Buddhist? Hindu. You're Buddhist? Oh, okay. I understand the religions. They also have the red points on the forehead. It's the mother. The mother of Lord Buddha. And this baby Buddha. Are you preparing your candles? Oh, is it for a ceremony or? No, no. Okay. It's for enlightenment. Enlightenment. You will burn them today. People. We candle it. Oh, okay. What time will you burn them today? So 9,999 Buddha are just on this temple. Yeah. yeah. Small one, big one, big one. Wow. The same image you can find at India, in India. Ah. The as Buddha was actually born in Nepal, it often is considered as the cradle of Buddhism. Despite that fact, Hinduism is still the prevailing religion in this country. Interestingly, the same applies to Jesus as Israel is mainly Jewish and Muslim. So actually Dr. Strange was filmed here in this temple. <laughs> Very interesting. Maybe you wanna see, I haven't seen the movie yet, but maybe we're gonna see it tonight. The last candle. Complete. 108 candles. Watching my channel. 
Das war cool. Yes. That's very nice. Super cool Tempel. Highly recommended coming here. Maha Buddha. Buddha. Maha Buddha. And now uh, we're gonna see more temples. Oh, at least it's a nice walk, a good hike. Super nice hike here. So, I think we made it. So, this is the monastery. So, ice coffee latte for lunch and ice lemon tea. So, the true meaning of life, the Dalai Lama said, is happiness. So, this is actually not a temple but a monastery, the Kopan Monastery. It is located in the outskirts of Kathmandu and has become especially famous for teaching Buddhism to visiting Western foreigners. Even the Dalai Lama came here to preach and teach meditation. Super cool here. It's a beautiful sight here. These gardens are amazing at the monastery. We really love it here. Here are ponds, here are butterflies, so many flowers, little shrines, very peaceful. See the mountains. Not Himalaya though. There's actually a little story about Buddha. Every day he did something else. It's really cute. The gardens of the Kopen Monastery are particularly beautiful and offer great views on Kathmandu city. There's actually a lucky wheel and you can spin it. You take this and wow, it's super heavy. Wow. How can these women, women make it? It's getting easier. Wow. Not easy. Don't kill while you're in the monastery.
Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my expert diary and support this channel.